you know, sometimes you get to be lucky when it comes to flea markets, and this is certainly one of those times. Because I uh, was on a flea market and I stumbled upon this thing. Now, you might wonder what the hell this thing is. As far as you can tell, this is just a photorealistic background and a L39 without any sort of wheels on. And you would be right. And However, what I can't show you, because I don't give a camera, is that this Real Flight Sim Controller uh, or rather, Real Flight RC Flight Simulator Basic, because I'm reading it off the box, obviously, uh, comes with an actual RC flight. Si uh, comes with an actual RC controller, uh, and it plugs into USB. I'm actually 100% wonderful about this because it's absolutely wonderful. I j I just love it to death. Uh, I haven't even tried it yet, because I felt like I haven't had lunch yet, and I decided that let's just see what the hell happens. So first of all, we are gonna switch on to the game, obviously. Make sure that you hear the grading audio of the sound. Now, there are a ton of different aircraft here, so if I push menu here... Uh, and we can go here. We can uh, we can select we can select the Harrier. We can select the great pl different great planes like Spitfire and Piper Cub and Stearman and e even a real flight airliner. I mean, I know I wanted to do the L39, but we are going to try that airliner. We are definitely gonna try that airliner. It doesn't really look as yeah, so basically it says device is ready, controller set up and ready to go. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Oh, that sound. Okay, so we got engines to full. Maneuvering surfaces are responding. But I think we... I'm not sure we can actually take this thing off. So uh, I am going to also check uh, the other menu. Oh, here we have the different um, the different uh, places we can go as well. So we... The photorealism really looks... <sighs> it, it's, it's just fine. Oh, an indoor field! Nice! We are definitely going to try the indoor field. I mean, I'm like a baby here, because I know that I basically can do something I've been wanting to try without the uh, obvious risk of just crashing it all. Oh, we have a turbine F-86 Saber, the Douglas Skyhawk. We're gonna try out the Skyhawk. Oh, this is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well at all. God damn it! Okay, so maybe indoors was not the Skyhawk's forte. Uh, we have the we have the grass last. Let's tr let's try that. No, it's gonna be a whoa! What? No, we're actually taking off. Oh, this is so super sensitive. This is so super sensitive, and it's it's not even like you you're flying in. Any other means of the world. I have no idea what I'm doing here. This is so ridiculous. And I'm loving it. I mean. I've been flying flight simulators for most of my life. And what makes this e so funny. Is that. <coughs> this is not a flight simulator. This is an RC flight simulator. So basically. What's simulating is the RC experience of basically doing hyper tense motion! And I'm so fucking scared of crashing this plane, and I'm very happy this is not me actually flying a real RC jet. But then again, I was ho having this in full throttle too, so... Alright, so let's see if we can slow this down a bit. 
I mean, at least the roll rate is similar to what you would expect from a Skyhawk, but uh, it's kind of silly that uh, the wheels and stuff like that are not actually simulated. Let's see if we can land this thing. I would have to ask my RC buddies if that qualifies as a landing, but uh, let's just, for argument's sake, say that it does. So, what's going to what's going to try next? The A6 Texan, I think. Again, no landing gear. Just no no landing gear at all. Oh, there's the landing gear. Basically, there were a couple of thumb switches here that uh, seems to be all about the landing gear. I don't know if the second one is about the engine or not. I mean, th this is a very unique experience. Oh, there we go. Maybe we damaged the end and landing gear. Flip them in. Whoa, god damn it. Oh, we hit a tree! We hit a tree! Oh, and well, we're gonna have to pick up the pieces. Yeah, I fairly certain we might have actually harmed the engine there. So, we're gonna try a, a bit slower takeoff this time around. Just take her nice and slow across the field. The wheels in. Pull up. We are going to um, just have a nice little stroll around the field here. Oh, and every single motion is just absolutely... I mean, this... Whoa, no! God damn it! God damn it! Let's reset this thing and uh, we'll, we'll, try an, uh, we'll try the indoor field again. Just because I want to uh, master that thing. Yay! No, that didn't work. <laughs> this thing is... I mean, I shouldn't be allowed to fly RC planes at all. Uh, let's see what we have. Oh, a Fokker DV. Let's see if we have something like something that can really fucking move. The Aerocat. I, I don't know what that is. So l l let's try that. Oh, great. That thing doesn't even seem to run. Oh. <laughs> Did we just throw that thing? Yes, we did, we did in fact just throw that thing. And pressing the reset button is basically what controls the throw. Okay, so throttle is nice and steady. Throw it! No. So basically you press... Oh! Whoa! I mean, it's like super maneuverable. So let let's try another plane. I mean, I, I'm I'm having too much fun with this shit. I mean, it at least it doesn't break. I mean, it seems super durable, which right now is a real godsend. So let let's just go to another field and try it out. So, Evergreen Airport, Air Modeler Park, we'll try that. Wee Loop the loop! We actually- oh, this is- this, this plane is just super sensitive.
slowing her down. Coming in for a landing. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, so basically just uh, reset the airplane again. I'm gonna try the one of the great planes, maybe the Spitfire. Oh, that hyper intensity wine. Also, I'm trying to. Uh... I mean, it's like controlling a squirrel on cocaine. And the fact that you have to do it with... Oh, god damn it, that didn't work. Uh, and now it's off again! It's off again! Alright, let's see if we can't, if we can't uh, put this one into the landing pattern. Okay, so looks like we don't have much of a repair fee on that one. Let's uh, let's check more of this. Select and hotliner. We started with the L39, so we'll we'll end with actually flying the thing. And now we do have the wheels out, so. No. Yes. Okay, so. We, the, the control have different sliders, meaning that uh, some of the things are actually going to be s more or less sensitive depending on how you do- Oh god, no! It's a catastrophe! Okay, so, get the gears up. So you, c you, you can adjust the sensitivity in the controller. But it doesn't really feel that much of a difference. Alright, so... Let's just have a fly around and... Oh my god! Catastrophe! Utter catastrophe! Okay, so... Wheels up, and now I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something absolutely horrible. So, uh, we are going to see if... What happens if we crash into the... Oh! I was gonna crash into the cameraman, but... One thing I do want to see if... If there are alter alternate... Oh, there are... Here is a binocular view, it seems. And this is... This is, uh... Oh, I should have shown you this from the beginning, obviously. Uh, what you see here in the corner is uh, it shows how my controllers are set. Uh, so we're gonna do that actually. And now we have have a good view of the aircraft and how it's flying and we. I mean, it's a it's a really a one of one of a lifetime experience. Not really a one of a lifetime experience, obviously, but it's a unique gameplay experience because it's obviously so that people will be more comfortable with trying the uh, flying their own RC planes that actually costs actual money. You know, it's. Not really something you would get because you want to experience the RC experience. If you do that, then you could just as well get a regular flight simulator, like Digital Combat Simulator or something like that. But th this is basically just to train people who uh, who uh, enjoy flying flying RC planes. Still, it's a pretty damn interesting experience.
That said, we are starting to get closer to lunch now, so I'm going to uh, try and get this aircraft back down on the ground without hurting it. But however, with, with this ultra-sensitive control scheme, that is not the easiest thing to do. At least we tried. Time for lunch.